Is this a friend or a bitch is crazy? I am a neutral girl, okay? Bitch, don't go bad. It's subtle flavor. Can I tell you guys how I've been like staying productive? Ah, uh, uh, you are my one thingies you guys my skin i'm getting in my head about it right now alexa i'm getting so in my head about my skin right now because i stood so close to the mirror and i every time i do this i pick myself apart and now so i see my blemishes i see like the way that my skin is like uneven i have like hair like peach fuzz hair on my skin i have a full-blown mustache at this point breaking out on my forehead my mustache <laughs> this is gonna set me off i feel like i just need to go to the gym have one of these like little ice, I don't know if it's, an, it's not an ice roller, but it's like an ice thingy where you fill it up with water and then put it into the freezer. I think it helps with like a few different things, but honestly my skin, I don't know what's happening. Do you know what it is? Every single time I come back here, I feel emotional about this because my skin is like the one thing that I get the most self-conscious about. I try so hard to take care of it, but every single time I come back here, like the water here just like ruins my skin the other day i ran out of water bottles and so i was drinking like tap water i don't know if anyone can relate to this but the tap water here is like it feels empty like that's the only way i know how to describe it. it's like when you're drinking it it doesn't feel like you're drinking anything and so i never feel like i'm actually getting like the right nutrients just like whatever i don't know what you get from water but like nutrients and like hydration that you're supposed to be getting from water so, i don't know i'm like really in my head this morning because i stood this close to the mirror and as i stand here i'm like do not look at yourself so i'm gonna step back it's okay it's not that deep i just like really truly do get in my head about it and i get so self-conscious but i feel like this is normal but anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i'm just gonna let this thaw out a little bit and then do it when i get back from the gym because i'm gonna clean my face anyways I am back home now I don't think I even introduced this vlog but I wanted to kind of just take you guys along with me for a work day at home because I do have a few things that I'm working on that I kind of want to share with you guys and I have just like a really not like super busy honestly I'm in a bit of a low season right now like in between clients but I am doing a lot of like back-end admin which don't love admin and I just got better basically from I won't say like a full injury but I hurt my back when I was at the gym like three days ago and it was so painful these last few days like I could barely move properly without like shooting pain just going up and down my back but I feel better now so I just got back from the gym I did like an ab and a butt workout again very light I don't really want to push it because I can still feel like the strain like right here on my lower back when i like move certain ways i really wanted to get back in the gym because i was feeling so in my head yesterday i went for a run for the first time in two days and the way that i like immediately felt so much clearer in my head was absolutely unreal like runs honestly by the beach i don't know if they have them by the beach or just runs in general they clear my head so much and they make me see so much like like I don't I keep saying clearer but genuinely like when I go there and I'm in my head and I'm like a jumbled mess and I'm like anxiety ridden or I have like imposter syndrome or I just feel like really down on myself if I go for a run I come back a new person I literally hate when there's like bikes on the street but anyways just got back from the gym didn't introduce the vlog earlier this morning so I wanted to now but I'm about to make my green supplement I went to Cafe Nero and picked up a decaf soy latte with vanilla syrup and honeycomb syrup that's like my order 
from the coffee shop it's so good if you can get like honeycomb syrup from anywhere and or you live in the uk you can go to cafe nero get this order i'll put it on the screen it is so so yummy it's subtle and it doesn't really taste like coffee it's like kind of sweet but not too sweet you get the point because i'm not the biggest fan of like the flavor of coffee but i love it when it's like super sweet also <laughs> got my nails done i want to like show you guys this nail color because it is genuinely to die for so i went to the nail salon the other day and i go to gabriella chamberlain in my town and the way that i walked in there and i was like so confident i was like i'm gonna get a color i'm gonna get a summer color walked out with literally the most beautiful pink color ever i am a neutrals girl okay i wish i could experiment a little bit more with my nails but i'm a neutrals girl through and through but i was like i am not feeling a french tip this time i saw a picture of myself and my dad's birthday last year or like two years ago and i had these pink nails and they were like this shape like the oval shape but they were like a little bit longer and they looked so good and i was like that is my nail color like this and like yellow and french tips my go-to nail color i also need to my toes but we're not gonna talk about that they used a gel bottle so i got um pina colada i think is what it's called the way this color is absolutely stunning like i'm obsessed i can't stop looking at my nails like when i do stuff in the mirror i get three coats of nu 05 gel builder because my nails are really thin and then i get two coats of pina colada and then this is what you get so i have so much stuff to you guys on recently just got these shreddy greens in the mail and when i tell you guys i'm obsessed i don't even know if i talked about these in the last vlog i think i did when i actually got them they're the best greens honestly i have two greens that i like swear by first one are these ones which is the shreddy super greens second one oxy green the guava flavor absolutely unreal this one doesn't have a strong flavor but this one also doesn't have like a ton of sugar in it it doesn't have like a ton of additives in it and the entire list i kid you not all of that is ingredients but it's all like stuff that's good for you like it's all like plants or what is i don't know what they're called like you know like spirulina is a powder i don't know what that would be considered but it's like that so good i will link this down below for you guys I'm not i'm not this isn't sponsored like i'm genuinely just like obsessed with this product the other one that i like is the oxy green ehp labs that one is so yummy and it tastes like juice so if you want a more juice flavor i would go for that one but if you i'll also link that down below but if you want something that's like it doesn't taste bad it just has like a subtle flavor kind of tastes like flavored water in my opinion go for this one and this is mango pineapple flavor i'm gonna do some lemon in this You guys know that i am so obsessed with how i like plan my days and being like productive and stuff so i want to tell you guys how i've been like staying productive I have this like plotted is this what it's called like a dotted journal that i got so long ago so it's like empty but it has these dots in it time blocking your best friend if you're trying to be productive for whatever project you're working on currently i am building a website for my content and design studio which i'm so excited to tell you guys more about i'll probably do that in the next video because i want to walk you guys through it once it's done and everything but i'm working with a design template from tonic site studio so if you guys are a small business owner or you're looking to start a brand or a business or anything 100 would recommend i will leave a link down below for you guys to like look at their templates and everything they're stunning they're gorgeous they're so minimal but like chic and like luxe feeling and it gives you so many like site and page options i truly 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 am so obsessed and so thankful i found them I, i'm really bad at like sticking to blocks if i like set it out ahead of time so what i have to do is like start at a certain time so right now it's 10 40 but i'm gonna take like 10 15 minutes to, like eat and kind of just like settle in for the morning so i'm gonna start at 11 so i'm gonna have to 11 45 for like emails and stuff because i have to catch up on stuff and then i don't do like I don't fill in the rest of the day right off to the side I'll do a description of what I'm doing that way once I'm actually done if it takes me longer it's fine and then I'll just block from 11:45 or whatever time I get done to the next time and that'll be my next vlog 
I have to do it this way because then it like lays it out clearer. I started doing lists and I have this list. So I start with a list of everything that needs to be done on this page and then I'll time block it. There's something so humbling going from being an employee to like a business owner. When you are an employee, you feel like you have like an obligation, obviously to like a company and stuff. So it makes you want to, like you have to do the work or you could get fired. But like for me, sometimes I really struggle with motivation because I'm like, oh, I work for myself. Like I can get it done later, but then later comes and it's like, I'm no longer in the mood to get it done. So I think there has to be a healthy balance. I have a call at four with another bride who I finished working with. Oh, my hair is on the floor. There's like some questions and stuff about her board. And she's getting married in Spain, which places like European vendors are so much harder to find. Like you can find them and they have some stunning ones, but you have to dig so deep. So it's like, it takes a lot of time to kind of like source them, which is fine. I really do enjoy it. I feel like it feeds into my love for research, but I have a call with her at four. So I want to go through the vendors that I have there. I want to kind of prep anything that I think she may have questions on and then go through the board. So I have update with it because it's been like a few weeks since I last looked at it. But right now I am going to peel some boiled eggs made these earlier and I love prepping them because they're so easy. My stomach hurts so bad right here, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm cramping or if it's like stomach cramps. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, I bought an entire chocolate cake two days ago and it's done. It's an issue. Right? Good morning, you guys. It's been a few days since I last vlogged. I completely forgot that I was vlogging. I don't like wearing mascara so I have like a tub of Vaseline and I put it on my ring finger and I just coat my eyelashes in Vaseline instead of like wearing mascara and I love the look so much better it leaves like a wet look and not like a waxy look it's so subtly cute <laughs> and like lifts it a little bit I think I found like my style and like what I like wearing because the way that I feel so confident in this if you don't like this outfit that's fine you don't have to but the way I'm obsessed with it, love a cut on a top that's like this, where it hits me like right under my belly button. Like that's my sweet spot. I feel like I'm not really into tops that are like super cropped. I love adding a pop of color with my shoes. I'm gonna try one shoe, my Nike, one shoe Converse. I can already tell though. I think I'm gonna like my Converse better. Okay, hold on. Definitely a Converse outfit. I added some jewelry. I just added these gold hoops from Goryana, I think. And then I added some gold jewelry. So I have, let me show you. I have these gold rings from, these are Monica Venator. Oh, that's cute. Okay, these are from Monica Venator. I'm obsessed. I'll try to link these. I think they're a part of their like essentials. So they're always on the website. And then this gold ring is from Goryana as well. But yeah, these are from... Goriana. I literally love all of their stuff. They're so good. Their hoops are my favorite. Um, and then I'm just going to put on my signature scent, which is the signature perfume by Mom Block. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called, but I get compliments every time I put this on and I love the smell of it. This perfume and Beach Walk by Mason Margiela, like their fragrances. What is it called? Replica. Um, those are my two signature scents. I've already declared it. I have a few other favorites, like love all of these perfumes. Like I love the Vanelle by Anthropology. This is a really good cheap vanilla perfume if you are looking for one. Love Black Opium. This one's a classic, honestly. Obviously it was like really trendy for a while, but it's so good. Cloud, 
needs a recognition. It's stunning. I love it. This is a really, really good one that I don't think enough people talk about, but it's whatever this is by Givenchy and my dad gave me that one. I realized, and I don't even know if you can see this, my ends, y'all, I don't, can you see that? That's terrible. Like, that is so bad. Pardon? That's not happening. So I'm going to try to go to the hair salon. I think there's one called Tony and Guy that's near me that's supposed to be really nice. And I'm going to see if they have any openings for haircuts and maybe like a moisture treatment or something to do on my hair because this needs to be remedied immediately. <laughs> I legit have a fringe though like is this a fringe or am i just crazy this literally he was like do you have a bang and i was like no i just had breakage <laughs> it's i'm obsessed with it he did such a good job i was asking him the whole time i was like have you not the whole time but i asked him through the haircut i was like have you worked with like afro hair because obviously i have like a thicker texture hair and he was like i did a class on it like 20 years ago he slayed he killed it absolutely killed the afro hair i'm so obsessed i honestly am a new woman i can already see like kind of getting a little bit frizzy right here from like i don't know weather or whatever but also there's layers and then honestly i, I love it so kind of love it i'm gonna leave it tonight i'm not gonna put any heat on it but i'll probably touch it up in like two days with my own flat iron just to keep it silky smooth i also want to touch up on my roots because he didn't really like go all the way to the roots again he was like a white man no shade to him because he did such a good job honestly but i mean i feel like white men who work on majority like white women here hair it's fine but obviously like he's not going to know exactly how to deal with my texture here and that's fine but he did it he did such a good job and he was so sweet and he was talking to me the whole time and he was like giving me tips on like how to do like certain things anyways i wanted to update you guys obviously but i'm gonna end the vlog here and start editing this vlog so I can post it. And I might start up a new vlog maybe Monday or tomorrow. I might take tomorrow off. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of my new haircut. I'm obsessed. It's a lot shorter. But that's fine. I think he took off like five inches is what he was saying. Which is wild. Because I didn't even think my hair was that long. Um, but he was like, yeah, it normally starts off two or three. And then you get cutting. And it's like, I ended up at five. And I was like, pardon? Um... But yeah, I'm obsessed with it. Thank you guys so much for watching, like I said. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on social media so you guys can stay up to date with me in real time. I will link all the stuff down below as always. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye-bye.